intimate. Well, I love it. We've all seen fictional heroes like James Bond, Jason Bourne, take a bullet and make a full recovery. Mm -hmm. Well, while we know it's not that simple in real life, one of Canada's top tailors is giving it their best shot but by creating a nanofiber bulletproof suit. Crazy, <laughs> and our own AJ Fry headed out to a firing range in Ajax to turn fine fashion into target practice. Tell me about the science behind these garments. Absolutely. The, um, the actual protection was developed by the U.S. forces for the Iraqi war. Okay. And one of the things that they thought about was the fact that a lot of their assassins and snipers are going into settings where they actually need to look as if they weren't wearing bulletproof protection. Mm -hmm. So based on client feedback, we actually went and searched it out. And we've now developed a fashion little suit that's trim fitting that you can't even tell that bulletproof protection isn't within it. The term nanotube, you know, in the 1950s would have I had a perfect fitting in any science fiction film as some far off distant technology that doesn't exist yet, but now nanotubes are where it's at, right? What is unique about them is the fact that the force from the bullet is actually spread throughout the full suit okay. to provide you the opportunity to actually flee the scene. They're actually very light, it's yeah. like a second skin. If you look here, this is the actual suit that was shot earlier in our demonstration. Yeah. And I pulled out some of the nano technology within it. Okay. If you look, the bullets and slugs yeah. of a 45 are caught within it and it hasn't even penetrated the first layer. The material was even thin enough to go undetectable in AJ's clothing. No one knows. Ta -da. Just makes me look like I've actually been working out. Well, where do you go for, for style inspiration? Because obviously once you have the technology to make something bulletproof, the next application is making it something that people will actually want to wear. So what's the style inspiration for these? When it comes to inspiration, it could go from a classic pinstripe suit right down to a tweed jacket like I'm wearing right now. Did you look at you know comic books and, and film and television at all for any of this? One of the things I thought about was the suave debonair of Bond. Okay. So if you look at um, Daniel Craig, escaping an assassin in an attack, yeah. he doesn't look as if he's been scathed at all. Right. So when I actually thought about developing this product, I wanted something where if our client was ever shot in it, he'd actually still look sharp at the same time. <laughs> What's the goal for the future of this technology? I mean, we are in Canada. Are we going to see a bulletproof toque? Well, I think that there's, a, there's many applications beyond suits. So we find that as time goes on, we'll be able to make thinner and thinner garments out of this actual fabric. Now, Ben, you are known to sport some pretty fancy uh, suits on E-Top. What do you think of these designs? Well, for $20,000, I think I think it looks great. Right. But I go back to the probably one of the best lines in Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> yes. What if he shot you in the face? <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Well, uh, you would hope that that wouldn't happen. Um, but would I think well, you'd hope that nobody would ever shoot you ever. Very true. But let me ask you, if they let you try this on, would you let them fire a gun at you? No, 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 no ever. You just ever. wouldn't. Oh, hell no. So let me ask, what kind of, pe you know, what kind of people would want to buy a suit like this? Like I, think, jobs? I think if you are a contractor working in a war zone, right, uh, yeah. if you've got to go take a look at the operations, absolutely. And, or you go to places where maybe they have a lot of kidnappings, like places in Latin America. Yeah. where your safety is constantly at risk. I just, I know I saw the story, I know I saw the bullets, it's just, it's hard for me to still believe that this actually exists. It's the future. I know. Welcome, enjoy I know. it. I I'd let them shoot at me, <laughs> just saying. Stick around, there's more coming up after the break.